Welcome back to GTR. My name is Mark, and this is QE. This is a game by uh, BoardGameTables.com. Uh, Gavin Birnbaum is the designer. This is an auctioning game. It's 2008, and the economy is crashing. You play as one of the largest nations in the world, and it's your job to save the economy by printing money to bail out companies. Ooh. There'll be auctions for different companies you can bail out. Each will be worth victory points at the end of the game. And since you're the central bank, you own the money printer and you can bid whatever you want. You can literally get dry erase markers and write down any number for a bid. 99? Fine. 99 billion? Also fine. Win the companies to get points, but be careful. If you're the country who spends the most during the game, you are eliminated. Make sure you time the wave of inflation just right. Well, why don't we take a look ah, inside? and see what we're dealing with. Uh, this isn't a new game by any means. I think it's, I don't know when it came out, 2000 and, oh, 2020. So it came out sometime last year. So this is for, it's 30, I don't know if I said this, it's 30 minutes and three to five players and it's an auctioning game. It's just, I, it's just pure auction. So let's take a look, let's unveil the lid, and let me give you a bit of a commentary right now. The lid comes off nicely. It's not, it's not loose where it's gonna fall off, but it's not so tight that you gotta get in there and crank the box apart to get it open. So, A plus already. Okay, so we got a little baggie of one, two, three, four, five uh, dry erase markers. I am almost certain that these are going to be not lasting very long. But now what I usually do with these types of games, for example, Captain Sonar is one that we have dry erase markers. We have the dry erase markers for Welcome 2. We have those sheets. Or sorry, the dry erase sheets for Welcome 2. Um, a couple other games, uh, Silver and Gold. We usually just go to a box store and buy some fine tip dry erase markers to use those because these aren't going to last too long, but that's okay. Uh, but what's neat is keeping, the little, the, keeping these around for the little erasers. So you can clear off the board. So that's fine. It's not not too big, not too small. Those look all right. Uh, so here we got so a little. Okay, so just some other stuff, I guess, from BoardGameTables.com. They also do uh, on tour, which is another very interesting uh, roll and write type of game. They got some bags, other types of stuff. Here's some of their other games. Interesting. I don't know about any of these, so hmm, have to check those out. We have a baggie of baggies. Cool. If that interests you. Not sure what you'd put. Oh, I guess the I guess you'd put the baggies. I don't know. I don't know what you need baggies for in this one. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five dry erase boards here. Uh, these represent the different countries. Uh, and you can just I think you're just writing your bid down on these. So uh, let's say, like they said. Uh oh. Not off to a good start, folks. Am I on the right side? Okay, so that's a dud. Let's try this one. A little better. No. This is also a dud. Ah, oh, no. Usually they, they start out okay. Not looking good. 99. Wow, these are all just dried right out. Wow, okay, so 0 for 3. We're in it now, buds. We may as well see if any of them are good. Uh, that one's a little bit better. It's already gone. Okay, 5. And barely anything. No. So, uh, 5 garbage dry erase markers. Uh, pitch those right now. Uh, anyways, the eraser probably works. Yeah. So you, you basically write down your bid on these uh, tables here uh, and pass those in. Um, I'm hoping those are just, those. these feel really dry. So I'm assuming that these are okay. I'll have to grab some, maybe some other markers and try. Uh, but these are nice, nice and thick. Uh, and then we have the various are these the tiles that you're bidding on 
They seem to their punch out okay. They're not gonna uh, they're not gonna hang on and they're not gonna really rip, so that's good. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, uh, seven slots of those. And on the back you've got yeah, so I guess this is what you're bidding on, because then when you flip these over, you write your bid uh, on there. Okay. And then what else do we got inside? We have... Oh, these punch out really easy. We have QE. Interesting. And I'm guessing these are just the five um, player colors that you start with. Okay. And, the, and here are the player individual player boards. And so each of these correlate to the country and denomination and currency or whatever on here uh, and these are all the same just belong to their respective uh, country so on here you have uh, company vp your zero bid which you're getting points for nationalization uh, and then these are the different colors of corporations that you're buying then your points for diversification your total victory points um, plus your total spent in there, and then that's where you're going to win. Now, the interesting caveat with the game is you can bid whatever money you want. There's no... You're literally printing money. Uh, but if you've bid the most, or you spent the most, you will just automatically lose. So you're just eliminated from contention right there, no matter how many points you got. If you bid too much, you'll lose. And then it's the person with the most points uh, at that point. So nice little... Uh, just kind of single paged rule book. Obviously there's not a whole lot of rules to this game. I haven't played it yet, but I feel like I have a good understanding of what you do. Uh, nice thick. Uh, and so that's QE. These boards and stuff look good. Um, those are, those will, those will handle fine. And I think those will go play a number of games. You won't have any troubles with, with those. Uh, but pretty disappointed with the, uh, the markers, they're already dusty. Uh, let's get this back in the box. Guys, thanks for watching. This is uh, QE. And if you want to see uh, a review of this game or a playthrough of this game, let me know down below and we'll take a little looky-poo at it. All right, until next time, it's been a slice. Peace.